that git. Now we have to guard the east after all. Tell me about it. It's got me over a barrel. I hope that beast and the mangroves doesn't come anywhere near us. You're a chicken, Holtby. The beast in the east has better things to do than snack on a pushover like you. Shh, I think the bastard is listening to us right now. I'm roasting out here. Damn it, why did I have to be stationed here with you of all people? The stodge from the camp mess tastes like shit. I'd rather we were fighting the pirates. There's nothing left to take from this island. I'm roasting out here. The mangroves are safe again. The Shadow Lord has been defeated. Bullshit. Do I have to prove my combat skill to you yet again? Oh, my hero. Here, you've earned it. Damn. The Shadow Lord of the Mangroves is dead. D -d -d Did you just say Shadow Lord? Yes. That creature could have had us here at any time. And I deserve my reward because of that. Yes, there's no point arguing with you here. Take it. I've got to take care of the troops. Get lost. Come on, let's go. Sure. What do you think about this place? The pirates know how to live it up, huh? The pursuit of wealth and glory is a task of a lifetime. Just as well that they are such good sailors, especially when you want your bread buttered on both sides. Here, soul dust for humanity. Good. Then keep still, and close your eyes. All right, you've become a little more human. How did you do that? That's my secret. As long as I sail under your flag, we can trade in soul dust. Here, yeah. soul dust for humanity. We need the support of the other communities. Only when we have gathered enough combat strength in our harbor will we be able to defy Crow.
Not now. If your finger isn't long enough, use a small, fine pair of tongs. It will let you reach the object of your desire more easily. Only skilled blacksmiths can make them. I knew one on Tyrannis. Gordon, he was called. I'll remember that. Hey, that patch of land is mine, so don't think I'm giving it up. You can tell that to your friends in the town. What friends? Aren't you one of Spencer's thugs? No. Lucky you. I could have sworn you were his collector. There's just no future here for guys like me. Why aren't you in the harbour town? I've been there already. I even gave my last gold to that old fat git Spencer. But you know, all I wanted was to put a few bottles of rum on a slate, and he throws me out. A shitty life, I tell you. It could be worse. Easy for you to say. Your pockets are probably bursting with gold. But if you've got nothing set aside, it's hard to make ends meet. At least if I had my old gear, I could make a fresh start. So what about your gear? I pawned some of it. What else can you do when you need gold? That cutthroat has got the rest of it. I've got to get it back somehow. Who's got your gear? I can't remember exactly. Wait a minute. I pawned my decent clothes to Flynn, the storehouse master, for a few gold. He's probably bundled it up and left it lying around in the warehouse. And Spencer, the landlord, has tied my money bag to his belt. But I'll be damned if he's going to keep it. The bag was a present from my mother. And one of his thugs took away my sword. My fine weapon is bound to be rusting away in some dusty corner. I'll look for your gear. What? Really? Why would you do that? I didn't say I'd do it for free. Get me my stuff and I'll see what I can give you. Agreed? Agreed.
blistering ball sacks. I don't believe it. Do you think I'm blind? I saw you, villain. That's pitiful. Do you honestly think I can't see you? You're going to get into trouble sooner or later. Well, bad times, aren't they? No more than usual. I'm slowly getting used to it. You sound grim. Sounds like something is weighing on your mind. I'm not well at the moment. No hard feelings. That's true for many of us. Have you got any wise advice for me? There are outsiders on Antigua. Demon hunters and followers of magic. Maybe you should listen to what they have to say. I think they might be useful to us. That's probably true. What's the situation on the west coast of Antigua? It's overrun by the shadows. I'm glad I was in town when it all kicked off. The earth shook and there were deafening sounds. It was fucking terrible. Do you know a pirate called Griffith? Yes. He was here not long ago. He exchanged his clothes for some gold. But I tell you, they smell so bad it's just attracting the rats. So do me a favor and get the stuff out of here. Look in the first floor of the warehouse and you'll find a package. I saw you, villain! Blistering ball sacks. I don't believe it. Do you think I'm blind? Emma is alive. That's incredible. I didn't think she'd make it. She nearly didn't. They got to her, but she's almost her old self again, thanks to her voodoo art. I'm glad we hear he's okay. Did you throw a pirate out recently? Are you talking about that bastard Griffith? That dog wanted to get drunk at my expense. He weighed down his purse with stones and thought I wouldn't notice. But tell me, boy, why do you care? He says you cheated him. I wasn't the one who didn't pay. If that arse thinks he's gonna get his purse back, he's got another thing coming. There was nothing of value in it for a start. Well, then give it to me. No, you'll have to pay for it. But it won't be cheap. I'm not doing that bastard any favors. About Griffith's purse.
I'll buy it from you. You'll be the only one to fork out a heap of gold for a worthless pouch. So, okay, here it is. Do you think I don't see you there? Blistering ball sacks. I don't believe it. Here's your gear. Wow! You actually found it all! Let me think about what I could give you as a reward. Hmm. There were a pair of old socks in the bundle of clothes. You can have them if you like. Otherwise, I can only offer a bottle of cheap liquor and some gold. Keep your fucking gear. That's a noble gesture. You're an honest man. Thank you. Now I can start my new life at the tavern. <laughs> this time, I won't waste it all on drink. I promise.
this time, I won't waste... So, this is the Isle of Thieves. Yes. Watch your pockets. Unless you want to wind up a beggar. I wasn't planning on it. Good. I won't say I don't trust the gnomes. But you don't trust them. Got it. Come on, let's go. Of course! Here. Yeah. Soul dust for humanity. keep the big boss waiting, can we? It's important that Homi talk to him. Follow Stockade until reach Gnu village. You find him there. He usually in center of village. You got a problem with goblins. Yep, yep. Goblins spoil beautiful island. Many trees no longer where they should be. They steal special dinghy from Gnu. Now ghosts confused by old Gnu shaman and fight alongside goblins. Nothing must happen to them, otherwise our people die. So the goblins are stealing from you? Yep, yep. Who we not know much about it? One special dinghy is big pipe with lens. If fine pipe, take to Khan. Why doesn't Khan want you to fight? say all Gnu die when Ulvi attack goblins. Ulvi not wish to die, Homi. I only watch Stockade. No Basha, he said. Right. Then it might be better to proceed with caution. Yep, yep. Smart, Homi. It would be best to visit Khan. As great danger is near, goblins have set up many camps. Even in the north, nobody may get close, not even friends, homie. We're to take care of the northern goblin camp. But Khan has forbidden. You forget. 
We gnu die if you attack goblins. Bring me to Khan then. This way, homie! We're almost there, homie. Let's move on then. Yep, yep. Always spider, no slower. Follow me. A little gnome village. Feed me good sacrifices. I thought you liked gnomes. I do. But I like sacrifices better. We're here! Looky, looky! Thanks for the help, short ass. You're welcome. Ulvi always help. A human. On my island. A good omen. Maybe my people can be saved. Omen? What kind of omen? The great bird spoke to me. He told me that a homie will come when our need is greatest. So, you're in deep shit. Shit? A peculiar word, but appropriate. Soon, we gnomes will cease to exist. The goblins want to destroy our island. What's your problem? My problem? You don't understand. It's a problem for all of us. The goblins descended on this island and stole our Orikulkis. That's no problem. Just go get some new Ori Kulkis. A gnome does not change his Ori Kulki the way he changes his underpants, homie. Not only do you find it, it finds you. It cannot be replaced. If we use violence to reclaim our Ori Kulkis, the great bird will punish us. Due to the theft of the Ori Kulkis, the souls of our shamans have turned dark. Their spirits now fight alongside our enemies. We cannot attack them. I'll fetch you the Oracle Keys. No, I can't let you do that. You would use force to get them. Only someone who can steal them from the goblins undetected is worthy of this task. I'm the right guy for the Oracle Key matter. Well, you're even more stubborn than the gnomes. But remember, if you kill one of our spirits before you show me his orikulki, my people will suffer great pain. However, I will entrust only you with this task. Your friends must stay away from the camps. You should speak to Khalil. He can help you with this. If you want, I'll take you to him. What about the big bird? It's the guardian of our people. When we are no longer, it leads us to the other side. But if we make it angry, it will shed its feathers. Without it, the way to the next world is barred. Because of the Orikolkis. Where should I look for them? There are four goblin camps outside the stockade, homie. They are to the north, east, west and south. You will find an Orikulki there. Every Orikulki is guarded by an errant spirit of my people. Under no circumstances should you raise the sword against them. I sent four gnomes to return the Orikulkis. Ulvi, Namik, Meli, and Famir. When you meet them, they'll be able to tell you more about the goblin camps. 
Why can't I simply kill the shaman spirits? Their aurikulkis are bonded with our people. But be careful and try to stay unnoticed. The eyes of the great bird are focused on you. Can you teach me something? Yep, yep. I'd like to create talismans. You'll get it in no time, homie. Bring me to Khalil. Very well. Follow me. Here we are. Now, speak with Khalil. I will return to our village. I wish you success, homie. Hack too, homie. This Gnu has met many of your kind during his travelings. Hope you do not want to sell this Gnu. Why would I want to sell you? Other homies have tried while I was on big journey. Now they are not feeling so well. Now this Gnu is back from great journey and guards the caver of his fellow Gnu. He is much experienced in battle. Still very dangerous here. Do you need help? Khan instructed Khalil to retrieve the Orikoki from the Western Goblin camp. It was Namik's responsibility, but Namik, he never come back. That is big crapper, because this Gnu here cannot go away. Khalil must guard entrance. Tell me more about the Orikokis. Orikoki are important dinghy. Every Gnu collects one Orikoki in his lifetime. If you want to know more, speak to Khan. The Blinds in the Western Goblin Camp have stolen the Skull Maker of Wessi, our shaman. We need Wessi's Orikoki back at all costs. I'll get the Orikoki for you. What? Why would Hummy do that? You tell me. Be careful, Hummy. Bring the Orikoki to Khan and Khalil will give you a reward. Great. Has Homi spoken to Khan yet? Does he know about the problem? Yeah, I'm aware of the problem. I'll make sure that I retrieve the Orikoki from the camp without being seen. Famo, Homi. Good luck. How do I get into the western camp without being seen? Go straight through gate in westerly direction towards the camp. Turn left before you reach camp. I think Namik intended to abseil down from above with a liana. Homie can also try to jump. Maybe somewhere on the way you'll be meeting Namik. He jotted down exactly his plan. Maybe he help you. <laughs> 